Well, it's it's a little north of LBJ, several blocks north of LBJ. She has a map and a hunch. For now, that's all Patsy Day needs. In three years, five girls have disappeared from the area of LBJ and Forest Lane. Three of their bodies, along with the body of another girl, have been found in Collin County. The most recent discovery, the remains of three-year-old Roxanne Reyes. Investigators have looked at the possibility the abductions may be tied together, but come to no conclusion. We may get very lucky and, and we may find what we're looking for. Patsy Day wants to search several Collin County areas for Stacy Madison and Susan Smalley, and a Dallas team wants to volunteer to do it. The teenagers disappeared March 20th from Webb's Chapel in Forest Lane. Finding uh, the body of a child is not going to bring them back, but it can, you know, start the healing process. Right now they're in limbo. Stacks of reward posters cover a table in Ida Madison's home. Life has not been normal since Stacy's disappearance. Desperation and despair are Ida's constant companions. For her, a new search brings back new hope. It's just too hard to live in limbo, not knowing what's happened. And one way or another, we want to find her. And the sooner we can find her, the sooner we can deal with it. The loss of Stacy Madison and Susan Smalley has been felt by more than just family members. Students here at Newman Smith High School, where the girls were to graduate next week, miss their friends a great deal. And tomorrow they will show that by tying a yellow ribbon to each car in the parking lot, a sign that they still hope the two girls are returned safely, are found before their families have to grieve any longer. Marty Griffin, Channel 5 News tonight. In 2011, the Carrollton Police Department was asking for help in solving this case. The Carrollton Police said a group of pictures could be the missing pieces to this puzzle. Who are these people? They may be nobody, or they could be very someone very significant. Either way, we would like to talk to them. The Carrollton Police Department are not calling the people in these photos suspect. They simply would like to identify and speak to them. These people knew these girls, and they knew them relatively close to when they disappeared. He's asking anyone who thinks the people in the photos look familiar to contact the Carrollton Police Department. I'm convinced somebody out there knows what happened to these girls, Sergeant Payne said. Another article that was done in March 15th of 2013 from the Dallas Morning News says, the two girls were never heard from after March 19th of 1988. Candlelight vigil was being held on March 19th of 2013 here in Carrollton. Back then, their former classmates, family, neighbors, and old friends were expected to reunite to remember Stacy and Susan and maybe stir the memories up of others who might have clues to the mystery of the girls' disappearance. In 2013, it would have been 25 years that they had been missing. Now, we're looking at 35 years. I personally graduated high school in 1989 and I attended private schools, and but I knew about this. I was living in Carrollton then. These girls were just a year older than me and I've never forgotten them. And I know that I'm not the only one with feelings like this. The photos that you're seeing right now, I don't know if they've been identified or not. <laughs> the detective who has it now, I don't think it's, it's priority. But if you know anything about this, if somebody had said something to you, it's been years, 35 years, and the families in Carrollton and the school district, we all deserve answers and we want them. And we're not going to let this die until we have them. We want to bring Stacy and Susan home. If you know anything about this case, please call the number that we have listed here at 972-466-3300. And please ask to speak to somebody in the Crimes Division. Thank you for watching this. I thank you for watching another Carrollton City Limits flashback flick. Please, for Stacy and Susan, please share this video. Somebody out there knows something and we need to bring them home now.